Yep. Hello again, this is um, Delroy the Spark. Welcome to another episode. Uh, today we're off to a job in East London. I think the client's lost power, so we're going to go down there and sort it out for her. So um, you can follow us while we do it, see how we do it. And, um, so I'll see you later. Yeah, today um, we've got to fix the circuit. The lady's actually um, sorted it out herself. She's identified that this is the hob that's causing the problem. So we're going to have a look at that. Um, where is... I do that. Yeah, that was so there. So basically, I kind of did a complete sort of fiddle around, mm. classic, like flip them all off, flip them all You've on again, good see whether it worked. Yeah, you found the one. And then because this w these were still kind of flicking black down, yeah. then we worked out that this was this the, one the one that's that we needed to okay. isolate. So, and so sort of left it to it. What I think, I think there's probably a fault on your, on the hob. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, um, first of all, I've got a feeling that it's a fault on the off. I think it's to do with these, yeah. because when you pull these off at the moment, yeah. notice the difference between those two. So those two are both up. And those are down. And completely yeah. secure. Yeah. And when you pull this one up and down, yeah. Yeah. it's kind of yeah. so rattling I, around. I think it's something to do with, with the hop. But what I'll do, I'll do a complete test on yeah. the circuit. Great. And then um, we, because I'm going to disconnect the part to mm -hmm. here yeah. and test the circuit. Yeah, great. And then if it's fine to here, yeah. then we know this. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's okay. what I think. That sounds good. All right, cool. thank you. All right, bye. When I'm doing testing on these type of thing, these, when it comes to RCD, Right, that's off, so then, so that the brown has isolated. So what I usually do is disconnect the neutral of, of that circuit. Because if you don't, and you accidentally touch earth with it, it can trip to the main RCD. And the client is still using her stuff, so you don't want to do that. You can turn off anything you need to. So. <laughs> okay, thank you. But it's good practice. We're working on. You can't uh, switch off. The... So that's it, neutral's isolated. So now it won't trip just in case. Right, so it said mains, <laughs> so I'm taking. It was connected right as the mains. So um what I'm gonna do now is just test that insulation resistance test on it. See what happens. Uh Roslyn, mm -hmm. if you if you notice it's getting to eleven o'clock, just give us a little shout just in case yeah, I forget. <laughs> yeah, just in case I forget. <laughs> Yeah. I should put my alarm on. Eleven o'clock. What do you mean? No. Yeah. Do you want the torch?
999, that's fine, no problem there. telling me the circuit from here to the switch is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, that, that's, the, that's the cut connection for your oven, yeah, and that's the connection for your off. Amazing, yeah. yeah. What's that red stuff? Sorry, what's the red stuff? The raspberry, red stuff. Oh, okay. Have you got a kitchen towel? I'll wipe it out for you. I need it. Don't worry, I'll get my um, dust pan and brush. Is that the first time you've seen behind there? Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. So the circuit is fine. That's what I've established here. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do is So I'm testing the cooker neutral to earth and that says it's fine. Right. Phase to earth, no, no, no. So that's where the problem is. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, um, it's probably those switches it's mm. caused some sort of thing in there. I'm not, when it comes to electronic stuff, how it yeah. operates or work, I don't, I haven't got a clue. Yeah. But that's that's the problem there. So yeah. I need to speak to them. The yeah. whole sure with the circuit because it could still be a problem down there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you have to now we're clear that it's not the circuit, then that's a problem. That's fine. Yeah, we had to move the, we had to move the van because we've got our parking run out. So um, I've still got to go back there. I checked the circuit right to the cooker outlet, reconnected it, isolated the oven, the off, the isolation switch off, and um, but it, when I turned it turned the circuit back on, it still tripped. So. Um, I'm just going to check that it's not the switch, there's a problem with the switch or anything. I probably should have done that first. Hello? Hello?
even though it's isolated, I think we can. Yeah. So, it's definitely the cooker. What I, should, what I think the best thing for me to do, yeah, mm -hmm. is disconnect the hour from there. Okay. Because if they come, they will probably fit the hour for you, but they won't want to mess about with that, I don't think. So if I re... What would you want me to do? Reconnect... Well, I could, to get that socket working, that socket on the, the, uh, the hob switch working, mm -hmm. I could leave it. I, um, the cables disconnected in the back of the box until that's sorted out. Mm -hmm. And then once they put the new one in, they just have to reconnect that back in. Or... I can connect that back in and re disconnect the hob on the new there. So, sorry, I don't quite understand the option. So, I can either have that reconnected as in so that the switch there is working, but without the cables connected through to the hob on that switch. Yeah. Or, what was the second option? Or I can disconnect the hob okay. underneath there, reconnect it there, and and it, is there not the possibility, so could we not leave it how it has been with that switch for the hob being down? So oh yeah, if you don't, if you don't want to use that socket, that's fine, I can reconnect it, yeah. leave the, the... I don't ever use that socket. Okay, then cool. So that's fine, because that way it's all connected, right? Yeah. And then when the person comes to look at the hob, yeah. they're working from a clean basis, yes. i.e. Okay. everything connected, everything all set. Cool. So I just have to leave that switch down over there. Yeah, I just thought maybe you want to use that socket. That's no, fine. no, that's fine. I with these boards. <laughs> yep, okay, we've left that in the down, we've le left that circuit off. Yeah, that one was a simple little job. Um, the ob circuit the hob obviously had a fault on it so that's causing the it was tripping the rcd it was a split board so it was knocking out some of the circuit but the lady herself she sussed that out she played around until she found out that it was the hob so when i got there what i had to do was check that that circuit um and the circuit itself checked out fine um um uh, i made sure it wasn't the switch the cooker switch that because that that can happen, 40 cooker switch. So I just, just being thorough to make sure once I've left that place, there's no comebacks. Switch is fine, down to the outlet's fine, tested to the cooker, it's definitely the hob that's faulty. Um, some these um these fault finding jobs, you know, they're not rocket science, nothing rocket science about it for them, for you guys who are learning the trade. It's just a matter of understanding circuits and practice, because Socket circuits, radio uh, cookers, radio circuit, lighting circuits. They're simple circuits, really. You can't. Lighting can cause you a problem if it's not wired properly. If it's wired properly, there's no problem. But when you get to a circuit that's not wired properly, that's when you get a problem. Or with lighting, you can get special specialist circuits. You know, because I went to a job the other day where it was in an office, and the light switch wasn't working but when i got there they had these time light lag switches linked up with dimmers and stuff like that i didn't have a clue for a job like that i could do it but i'd have to strip i'd have to trace every wire to where it goes or get a drawing of the system 
So some things like that. That's more specialist, you know. So, um, but your simple lighting in the house or whatever, not rocket science. Yeah, hello again. Uh, we've been called out to another fault finding job. Um, I, I'm not sure what this one's about actually, but it's a fault finding job uh, up West London. So we're on the way up there now. See how it goes. The client says she's having a lot of crackling at this socket here. So let's just have a look. Oh, <laughs> look what's happened. Can you see? Mm. What? Yeah, that cable. Yeah, the neutrals come out. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> so, but look, that screw is right in. Mm. So that means it must have been touching. But you'd see some burn marks. Bloody hell. Okay, let's. There's no safe way of doing this unless I can pull the. Well, no, it's neutral, I can be fine. But um, I'd usually switch it off, but where the main head is, I don't know. If it was live. Okay. Sorry? You can be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry about me, I'm fine. If it was live, I definitely would have. It was on the load, that's mm. why I was switching to it. But I can't obviously, I've got to have it on to switch it to where I'm at. Right, so, um, mm -hmm. try your lights, let's see what's happened. It works. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was basically what was happening, yeah. yeah I think that bulb is just burned yeah. out, but there's yeah. on. Try your socket, that's... Okay, let's try it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just say what happens. I'm just going to check upstairs as well. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. Different yeah what, well, what happened there was a, a loose neutral. It wasn't tightened properly, it's fallen out. Lucky, you, lucky, it's a lucky thing because when you have you, loose neutrals, there's usually, uh, it's usually, when I see you, you loose neutrals, it's usually arcing and it damages the connector. I've actually been to a job, and uh, when I took the fuse board off, the actual connection was glowing red. It was actually glowing red, like charcoal on fire. That's what it was like. Couldn't believe it. But um, yeah, loose neutral. Um, the, the client's power's back on now, so that was it. <laughs> Nothing more to do. Okay. That one there wasn't connected properly into the um, 
Oh, okay. Is it when they installed the smart meter and then it just came loose? Uh, well, the <laughs> smart meter, I don't think they would have... Unless yeah, they, they, wouldn't have gone unless in they there, put new they? cables in, they wouldn't have done nothing mm. there. So, and the smart meter, if it, they just done it recently, if they put new cables in, it would have been blue and yeah. brown. Yeah, no, it's been I, at yeah. least a year, so. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, it was, it was loose. It, it, that can cause more problems, like mm. I said, because when it's yeah. loose and arcing, yeah. usually. So, was across. that quite dangerous then, what, what was happening? Or? Well. Mm. Dangerous. It's, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. Loose connections are not good. Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, but okay. That's so it. there's that's it. So what was the crackling? Does that what? Well, that maybe you was hearing a crackling here. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, it was definitely coming definitely from there. Definitely here. Well, yeah. that's all tight. Okay. I I can't explain that. Um, okay. Did you have anything plugged into it at the time? I did. Yes. And well, look. You see that socket there? It's yeah. not. It's not exactly. It's, it's, no, no, no. It's just like you know, you got trainers with no names, and then you got Nike and Adidas. Yeah, yeah. It's so a this is a no name. It's a similar type of thing, okay. you know. Yeah. Uh, me personally, I use named. Right. I don't want to say yeah. name, named um, yeah. con uh, manufacturers. I right. use their stuff. This sort of stuff you can get from these little electrical shops you see around the corner. Right. So. I'm not saying that's the problem, but it could be, you know, right. because all your um, your cables are all tight. Mm. They're all tight. So the only thing that I'm thinking is, when you plug it in, it may not be making good contact. If you're hearing crackling whilst it's plugged in, yeah. it's probably, you know, you didn't have good contacts. It's not making good contact. Because like I said, um, how you know... Any crackling to do with this socket, it would be um, it would be loose connections, okay. and that your connections are tight. Right. You know, but in saying that, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, look, it's all tight. Yeah. That one, the, the actual connector moves slightly, yeah. mm -hmm. so that could be a problem. Okay. You know, the the actual. You see, you see, mm. the connector is actually yeah. moving. So I don't know if that's the that problem, yeah. Okay. But I can't, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're right now, yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it was very confusing. I have no idea what's going on. The fact that it fell out and wasn't touching the copper is probably better. Because if it was half touching the copper, yeah. it would be arcing, and then after a while it would be burning, and mm. you know, it would mess up the connections. Yeah, yeah uh, fault finding can be as simple as that, just a loose, um, loose neutral. Um, like I said, that can be problematic if it if it if it was arcing for a while. Probably need to have a new switch or a new fuse board because I've been there where you can't even unscrew the screw; it's welded. It's welded together so they were lucky yeah and um, we put a lot of stuff on social media and the links are below um, so if you want to follow us and check it out at Eastway Electrical yeah we, we've got lots of videos coming up in the pipeline so stay subscribed and you'll see how we get on you know um, Delroy the Spark speak to you again soon